Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tomomi Gariano, a certified Zen Tango teacher. Today is day 28 of Inktober 2023. Today's Tango is Casual by, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sure it's, it sounds really beautiful and I know I'm going to butcher it. So um, anyways, uh, so this Tango um, is going to start with... Um, a uh, little little box rectangular shape box and you're gonna add a line in the middle and you have another one a little away from this one and you have another one so you have a row of box and you move down to the second row and the second row you're drawing the same kind of box, but kind of in between these first two. So they're struggling uh, with each other. And so I almost drew a line, uh, goes in the middle. It's just a habit from drawing, I guess, drawing a kanji characters. It's funny. So I'm gonna, gonna do maybe just this many. You can do as many as you want, or you can start with just a few of them. Um, then you're gonna have a line coming out from, uh, let's say, right side of this box, and this one is gonna connect here. And or uh, so it's as if this string ribbon is coming out from the right side of the box and going into the left side so you can repeat just the same side to make it oops, quite simple like this or you can just go both side so if you're coming out from the left side you're going into the right side, the closer, closest box, that's where you're landing. So this one lands here, this one lands here. The one thing that's not re happening is you don't want to connect corner to corner. So if you connect this corner, uh, this corner to here, it's not going to work, right? Because that's going to be left side and left side. If you're going to connect this corner to this corner or this corner, the line really doesn't work. So if I connect this one, when you add these two corners, if I add parallel line, I guess this side. Um, yeah, so this doesn't really work because it's the opposite side of the uh, box. Uh, I hope what I just said makes sense. I feel like I just confused you. But anyways, just remember that you're not just connecting with a single line. You're going to add a parallel line to it. So as you land to a square or rectangle space below, you want to be mindful of which side of the box that you are you're landing your line. This, this kind of thing may come instinctively to you, or this may be a little challenging. Um, again, this is one of those tangles that uh, requires a little bit of, it may require a little bit of thinking and understanding where the line should go above and beyond and that kind of thing. So you may find this a little a little more challenging uh, you may find it super easy uh, just you know everybody's different everybody's brain is wired differently so go slow go nice and slow I'm going really slow to make sure that I'm not confusing myself 
so this one's gonna go in here and then you can you can continue to add more of these boxes or kind of it, these are kind of like fasteners of a strings so you can build as you go or you can lay down all these uh, little boxes first and then uh, uh, do all these strings later so this one I think I'm just gonna do this and I could maybe maybe I'll do one more here perhaps maybe it's a little tight but why not kind of ended up having this sort of pyramid shape and maybe I want to since I have a little more space here I'm gonna do just one more layer See how depending on how far these little rectangular box, boxes or fasteners are, the shape that you have are going to be a little different. Ooh, this one I kind of missed the mark, but I think it'll be fine. So just like that and then I think I'm gonna just let this one hang down. Like this, and then for shading, oh, actually, you can. If you want, uh, you can see in a in a sample, you can add some textures in between these um, what do you say um, the space that was created by by this tangle. So it's a meta shape that's created by drawing this uh, this tangle. But I'm, I'm not going to add any other tangle. Remember, I'm just trying to be staying, uh, sticking to more tangle for, um, for this year's Inktober challenge. So that's the promise I made with myself. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do more than one tangle on a, uh, on one uh, one visual tile, so just doing a monotangle, but in this space you can add another tangle, like texture tangle, like um, planton, kiko, um, like bales and different things you can do, especially if you were drawing bigger that creates or invite more possibilities to have fun. So I'm just adding a little bit of shading to where these strings are going into this little box. It's really um, very cute, delicate tangle. Um, I like the tangle that creates a meta shape because uh, that's that's another space you can tangle inside or if you're into adding colors it's a it's a nice space for you to play with your colors yeah this is really fun I like it and since I have the gray tile I'm 
to do just a little bit of highlighting here. Kind of looks like some kind of wall hanging object it turned out and i think i'm gonna add just a little bit of accent with my white oops it looks like i didn't do my tortillon over around here so i'm gonna come back with my tortillon So today is already day 28, uh, just three more days left and I have a bunch of bijou tiles that I finished and at the very end I'm going to do something with all 31 of them. But if you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you see like on the ninth day I have bijou tile uh, 3 by 3 and 16th day I have bijou tile 4 by 4 um, laid uh, laid down and took a picture and uh, on the 25th day five by five so if you want to see my uh, other tiles you can check out my instagram or facebook um you know on after i'm done with my 31st day 31 days of daily tangling on the video uh, i will put together uh, something with all these bijou tiles that i have so i don't know how that's gonna work i'm still uh, thinking about what i'm gonna do but please stay tuned and if you like my video please subscribe to my uh, youtube channel and thank you for watching and tangling with me I will see you tomorrow for day 29 of October. Bye now.